There are really so many opportunities today for clinical decision support to have a huge impact on care as it's given, as it's practiced, as it's received. I think if I were to list some of the most important ones, certainly patient safety has always been one of the places where CDS can be at its most impactful. Uh, the ability to stop you in processes that are hazardous, the ability to correct things while they're in play. Uh, I think that has always been a big role for clinical decision support and will continue to be so. We're getting much more traction in chronic disease nowadays, being able to make more complex processes understood, being able to get the facts about what needs to be done and make that available to the provider right at the point of care. That's a big thing which wasn't always possible, but I think the technology and the knowledge management has become much more possible and we're seeing a much bigger impact in that, especially because it impacts so many quality metrics. And I think a third area that's very important is the rise of analytics, uh, particularly predictive analytics. You know, there's so much data we're collecting from so many different processes, genomics and care mining and everything else. Um, and now that we have so much data, we have the paradoxical thing is that we have to go back and try and simplify it for people to actually use in a rapid fire visit. So analytics, being able to take all that data, make something simple and useful out of it, is a third really important and really big potential for clinical decision support. I think if I were a CIO or a CMIO or other persons involved in health information technology leadership, I'd have a number of things to really focus on over the next year, year and a half. Uh, certainly metrics and all of the metric driven programs like meaningful use, value-based purchasing, accountable care, all of these things will continue to be very high in our minds. They're very specific, countable metrics associated with each of these. They drive revenue, they drive safety. So I think that will certainly stay high in people's minds. A second growing trend is the ability of more and more of the EHR vendor systems to open up their platforms and allow integration with outside systems and outside tools. So now the possibility exists that you can have an EHR by one vendor that integrates well with a clinical practice guideline by another, uh, perhaps with order sets and other kinds of information tools. So one company doesn't have to do it all. So you can explore more best of breed possibilities and know that they're going to be able to work together. I think a third area is coordination of care and coordination of the information tools around care. So if I'm a CIO, I've had a lot of different tools for clinical practice guidelines, care plans, order sets. Uh, now what we're seeing is that some of these are starting to work together with each other. So we're actually able to combine these tools and make a really well integrated approach across all of the different aspects of the continuum of care. Another trend that I think is coming more into play is that there's more opportunities for integration of some of the major electronic health record systems with knowledge tools and other kinds of decision support tools from the outside. So many of the major vendors are opening up their platforms more. We're finding more opportunities to have integrated work between knowledge companies, small and large, as, and with, between them and the electronic health record companies to be able to produce integrated products that really make a big difference. I think Elsevier is enthusiastically addressing these new trends and opportunities. This is the first Tim's conference for several of our newer products, including the in-order order set system, which we've just rolled out, including pinpoint risk in its new form, including clinical key, which has been out for several months, but this is really the first time it's appeared at the Hims conference. So I think those individual products are really responding to some of those trends. At the same time, to support coordinated care, we're really looking at using our smart content infrastructure upon which all of those tools are based to really make sure that they work together to make sure that the doctor, the nurse, the pharmacist, everybody involved in the healthcare system is using consistent and interoperable information. So I'm really excited about some of the trends that are going on at HIMSS this year. Uh, there's a real focus on innovation. Uh, I participate in HIMSS new innovation committee which has thousands of members who are really interested in what it takes to innovate healthcare in the hospital setting, in the ambulatory setting, every place else. And there's been a lot of activity on the methodology of innovation as well as the tools that we use and even new targets. I think also that we're seeing a much greater focus on clinical decision support here, something that's very near and dear to my heart. I think that now that we've got adoption ramping up quite steadily, I think it's now time to be able to use clinical decision support to take all of that data and do things with it that can really transform care for the better. So those are some of the things that I think are really exciting about HIMSS this year.